thank you for joining us here uh, outside the Oakland, California Highway Patrol office within CHP's Golden Gate Division. Rob Bonta, California Attorney General, and I'm honored to stand here with California Highway Patrol Assistant Chief Steve Ramos and other important members of our law enforcement partners uh, and our team. Thank you, Assistant Chief Ramos and the entire California Highway Patrol, not only for hosting us this morning, but for your everyday efforts in providing the highest level of safety, of service, and security to the people of California. I also want to thank my team within the Department of Justice's Division of Criminal Law and our e-crimes unit, including Haroon Khan, Deputy Attorney General, e-crimes unit, uh, who is present here, uh, Jeanette Geron, Supervising Assistant Attorney General, e-crimes unit, and Lance Winters, our Chief Assistant Attorney General of the Division of Criminal Law. And we are here this morning to announce our latest efforts in our crackdown on organized retail theft. This criminal activity, we know, is unacceptable. It harms businesses, it harms retailers, it harms consumers, and it puts the public at risk. It's important to note that this crime often doesn't stop after the initial theft. Criminals often resell their stolen goods and in many cases use the money to fund additional illicit activity, including organized crime. Those who break the law and peddle stolen goods must be held accountable. And today, they are. This morning, we have two announcements to make. First, we have taken down and are prosecuting a statewide organized retail theft ring involving defendants who stole more than $1 million worth of jewelry from stores in nine counties across California. We have secured felony guilty pleas for two of the ringleaders of this criminal enterprise, and we filed charges against two others. These charges and guilty pleas are a result of an, an investigation involving the CHP's Organized Retail Crime Task Force, which has been doing incredible work. Very thankful and appreciative of that important work. And it's also the result of multiple law enforcement agencies' work that began in 2020. So this is a uh, multi-jurisdictional, uh, multiple law enforcement agency um, operation where we work together to achieve today's result. As a result of this investigation, law enforcement located evidence in the defendants' homes, including jewelry that linked them to retail thefts at multiple J.C. Penney and Sam's Club stores, resulting in more than $1 million in losses to these businesses. The suspects entered stores by breaking and entering through exterior doors and stealing high-end jewelry throughout nine California counties from north to south, uh, Bay Area, Sacramento, including Contra Costa, Fresno, Kern, Kings, Placer, Sacramento, San Bernardino, Santa Clarita, and Tulare, so multiple counties. These defendants are being held to account for their crimes, and I can assure you, assure you that others will be as well. Because when we take these large rings out, we reduce the demand for smash and grab robberies and street level theft. And that gets me to today's second announcement. I am pleased to share California DOJ is launching a new online portal for the public to submit tips involving organized retail theft. The new portal, which is live now at oag.ca.gov slash retail dash theft, allows anyone with information involving organized retail theft to notify our office and submit tips, including potential photo or video evidence. So um, members of the public who see something can say something and they can say it to us so we can take it from there. We will thoroughly review each tip. We will investigate where we have authority and we will pass the information along to our law enforcement partners where appropriate. If you have any information or evidence that can help us stop organized retail theft, please share it with us and we'll put it to work. Today's announcements should serve as yet another warning to those who engage in this criminal activity and commit brazen crimes with no regard for the safety of workers, our businesses, and our community. You will be held accountable. You will face consequences. 
As our state's chief law enforcement officer, I'm committed to holding accountable those who break the law. We're doing that today. And ending crime is a team effort. Today's prosecution was brought forward as a direct result of a collaborative multi-agency investigation led by CHP's Organized Retail Crime Task Force, and it involved over a dozen law enforcement agencies. So I really just want to express my deep appreciation to CHP, to their Organized Retail Crime Task Force, to all of our law enforcement agencies throughout the state of California working together, focused on uh, this specific uh, crime, uh, holding folks accountable, bringing them to justice. Uh, we cannot do this alone. We must do it together, and we are. We're working together for the safety of the people of California. And I want to once again thank CHP, uh, all of our law enforcement partners for their efforts here, what they've done uh, in the past, what they're doing today, what they will do tomorrow. This is a team effort, and we're going to keep at it. And so with that, uh, allow me to introduce CHP Assistant Chief Steve Ramos, who will share more information about California Highway Patrol's Organized Retail Crime Task Force and the collaboration that is on full display in this Organized Retail Theft Ring Bust. Thank you all. Thank you, Attorney General Bonta. Good morning. My name is Assistant Chief Steve Ramos of California Highway Patrol's Golden Gate Division. On behalf of the California Highway Patrol, I would like to thank both Governor Newsom as well as Attorney General Bonta for their leadership and their continued support and dedication to ensuring we are safe and our dedication to public safety in general. To combat organized crime theft in California, state law in 2019 directed both the California Highway Patrol as well as the DOJ to establish a task force specifically to combat organized crime. The main goal of this task force was to both enhance our response and to, to ensure that our response was specific and dedicated to those regions that were dealing with the uh, crime. Our task force comprised of a multitude of investigators that specialize in the investigation of retail crime. And I'd like to take a couple minutes now just to highlight what we've accomplished since 2019. Since 2019 and up to the month of uh, April here, we have, as an agency, as a task force, participated in 1,031 separate investigations, resulting in 449 arrests. We've also contributed to the recovery of over $21 million worth of merchandise. I'd like to also take a moment to acknowledge the allied agencies that we work with as part of the task force, specifically with the case that Attorney General Bonta just mentioned. I'd like to acknowledge the Citrus Heights Police Department, the Roseville Police Department, Fresno Police Department, Hanford Police Department, the Contra Costa Sheriff's Office, the Bakersfield Police Department, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office, the Folsom Police Department, the Chino Police Department, and last but not least, the Bullhead Police Department of the state of Arizona. Our goal remains the same in order to ensure that we are investigating these crimes, we are bringing these individuals to justice and we're holding them accountable, recovering merchandise in the process, and our ultimate goal of ensuring that we're enhancing public safety. I am very proud of the efforts we've made to date and rest assured we are not going to rest on those laurels. We'll continue to collaborate with our law enforcement agencies around the state of California, working alongside local district attorneys as well as the Attorney General's office to ensure that we are addressing these crimes as they come. A special thanks to you. I, can't, I would be remiss if I forgot the media Thank you. You do play a critical role in ensuring that that, sa that safety message is, is brought forth to the public. Last but not least, I'd like to uh, simply remind everyone that at the end of the day, the California Highway Patrol is and continues to commit to be committed to ensuring that we are uh, that we are always committed to providing the highest level of safety service 
and security to the people of California. This task force that is run by the California Highway Patrol embodies that effort each and every day. I'd like to end on this. Safety, your safety is paramount to our goal. A reminder that if you do encounter or witness a crime of this nature, dealing with organized retail theft, please, please be a great witness. Do not engage the suspect and reach out and call 911. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Assistant Chief. Thank you, Assistant Chief Ramos. Uh, with that, if there are any questions, we can uh, take some. We, we think those were uh, very strong and appropriate sentences for the individuals based on the conduct involved. Just a reminder, these are felony convictions. These are convictions that um, would be served in um, our prison system in California, uh, generally. Um, so th these are what the facts led to. And uh, the facts of this case are, are a little bit different than some of the other f uh, organized um, criminal uh, retail theft cases that we've seen. We've seen some things on TV, uh, uh, flash mob style, um, smash and grabs. This case had a little bit of a different uh, MO. Uh, these were individuals that were breaking in to Sam's Clubs um, and to J.C. Penney's at night. Uh, there were no individuals in the store. store. It was after hours, the stores were closed, and they were breaking into um, areas where jewelry was secured, stealing that jewelry and making off with it. So. Uh, organized retail crime looks like a lot of different things. And uh, for each um, set of circumstances, we provide appropriate accountability, uh, including the, the ultimate conviction and the sentencing. So these are felony convictions that we believe are appropriate for the conduct at issue. Absolutely. Because uh, all the evidence shows that the way to deter crime is for uh, those who seek to commit crime to know that they will be arrested if they commit the crime. They have been arrested. They have been sentenced uh, or convicted. They have been convicted to felony um, uh, convictions consistent with the activity that, they've, that they uh, committed. So um, the answer to your question is yes. This is, this is exactly what deterrence looks like. Any other questions? Thank you all for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you.